This is five on your side at six, focused on you. Caught on camera, video showing a thief stealing a catalytic converter in the middle of the day in a grocery store parking lot. Tonight, a closer look at the brazen crime and what's being done to stop similar thefts. Thanks for joining us. I'm Mike Bush. And I'm Ann Allred. Five on your side's Ryan Henson is live at the Schnooks on Loughborough in South St. Louis. Ryan? Yeah, Mike and Ann, more than 200,000 people have now watched this viral video. And SLMPD says it is uncommon for someone to steal a catalytic converter from a crowded parking lot like this. They also say it's concerning. A catalytic converter crook caught in the act. The driver of this gray SUV says she ran it to the Schnooks at 55 in Loughborough for a few minutes. In that time, a man slid underneath her vehicle, cut out the catalytic converter, and escaped in his maroon SUV as witnesses recorded and watched in awe. People are out of work over it. They can't drive their cars. They're losing a whole lot more than people realize, and a thief's not going to care. You can tell as soon as they pull on the lot how loud it is. Eric James says a car pulls into his St. Louis Hills auto service lot every other day without a catalytic converter. They take about a day and roughly 1,000 bucks to replace. Platinum, rhodium, and palladium. If you break them down, that's where the money's at. SLMPD says there is another rising trend. Auto shops and drivers taking extra precautions to protect property. I've been welding rebar on them. Uh, we've been welding cages around them. Uh, it definitely deters them. Uh, if they want it, they're going to get it, but it will slow you down or maybe make you second guess that car. James says other people spray paint or engrave markings on converters, but not every method works. You can see they spray painted it, but you can grind that stuff right off. Uh, this one had a cable attached to it that they just cut right through that. James says these thefts have always been an issue, but more efforts are needed to slow the spike that's been growing in recent years. Now drivers beware. Mechanics say a lot of times when these thieves steal catalytic converters, they cause additional damage to other parts of the vehicle, which of course means it's going to cost more to replace. SLMPD says they're investigating. I'm Ryan Henson, 5 on your side.